Join me today as I do a deep dive into runway analysis and a new way I've discovered of plotting engine out procedures on an iPad app. So not too long ago, ForeFlight released a new version with a runway analysis feature as part of the uh, company's electronic flight bag app. Now, runway analysis means that somebody is analyzing the obstacles around an airport and figuring out an alternative engine out procedure as opposed to simply going straight out and using the constraints of that departure for the engine out procedure. The problem with that is that a lot of the straight out departures will restrict certain things like the maximum weight you can take off with. With a runway analysis engine out procedure, you can often carry more weight taking off at the same temperature and conditions from the same runway. So the new version of ForeFlight has these runway analysis engine out procedures for certain model airplanes and they're going to continue adding them and adding more airports and more procedures. I had a question about how this all works because typically when you're using runway analysis engine out procedures, the way you flight plan for handling the engine out procedure is you create an alternate flight plan in your flight management system. And most modern FMSs let you create a second or alternate flight plan. And presumably, if you lost your engine on takeoff, you would switch to the alternate plan so that you wouldn't hit anything. I haven't been able to find a simple way of depicting that on an iPad moving map. And a lot of pilots are using ForeFlight, Garmin Pilot, APG, Preflight Genesis, other programs like these for their uh, electronic flight bag. It occurred to me that if you could depict the engine out procedure on the moving map on the tablet, it might give you a secondary piece of information that would help you navigate after losing an engine. So I thought about this and I thought, well, I guess you could create user waypoints for each waypoint in the engine out procedure. And in the ForeFlight runway analysis, there is a, a handy feature in there that tells you exactly what the procedure is after you lose an engine on takeoff. But if you don't have those waypoints on a map somewhere or programmed into your FMS, it's gonna be a little hard to do that just on the fly. So I experimented a little bit and I think I've come up with an interesting way of handling this situation. So you can see I've got a flight planned here from Eagle County Airport in Colorado to Missoula, Montana. Uh, got the Meager 3 departure set up. And there's a reason I choose that departure. It, uh, it helps me illustrate what I'm trying to show here. So for the normal procedure, uh, the departure is uh, you take off runway 25, left turn to 219 degrees, then fly the 322 radial outbound from DBL VOR and onto Melville intersection and onto the flight plan. So I wanted to try to figure out a way to depict the engine out procedure on this map. So let's see what the engine out procedure is that four flight calls for in this situation. So I go to the flights tab and here's our flight. And you can see 
I've already got it loaded up with passengers and fuel and cargo. At this weight, it says the max takeoff weight is exceeded by 946 pounds. So obviously, this takeoff isn't going to work unless I offload a bunch of passengers and cargo and maybe even some fuel. Um, so let's see what the runway analysis option offers us. So I click on the takeoff button for the departure and here we're using runway 25 at Eagle County and it tells us exactly what the problem is. It says takeoff impossible due to obstacles and it says the obstacle limited takeoff weight is 13,747 pounds. And you can go down here to the obstacle analysis section and you can see the engine out procedure right now is straight out. So click on that and here we have a choice of engine out procedures. There's still some old uh, Jeppesen procedures in there Jeppesen is owned by Boeing, which also owns four flights, so they're sharing a lot of information. But four flights analysts are doing their own runway analysis procedures, and here's an example of one. So we click the engine out procedure, and we can see it already gives us a higher maximum takeoff weight. And the max takeoff weight allowed now is 15,914 pounds. That's more than 2,000 pounds more than the straight out procedure. And very handily, it also gives us the specific procedure we have to fly in order to carry those extra 2,000 pounds if we lose an engine after takeoff. So you'll, you can see here, you have to go from the departure end of the runway, left turn to Coper intersection, then 263 degrees to Hindi's intersection, 308 degrees to Beaver intersection, 003 degrees to Apries intersection, and then hold at Apries. So let's go back to the map and see if we can figure this out. Now again, what I'm trying to do here is depict on the map that engine out procedure, so if I have to do it, I can easily see it on the map. Keep in mind that this is advisory in nature only and officially you still have to use your FMS alternate flight plan or standby flight plan if you lose an engine and you're going to use an engine out procedure that's different than straight out. Anyway, I think I've figured out a simple way of doing this. So what I do is I append those intersections on the engine out procedure to the end of the flight plan. So watch this. Now I've written them down just to make it easy so I don't have to memorize them, but first I'm going to put in Coper. Then Hindi's, then Beaver, and Apries. And We're almost there, but not quite yet, because of one small thing. At the beginning of the engine out procedure, it says runway heading to the departure end of the runway, then to Coper. So all I have to do is drag this path over to the end of the runway let it make a custom waypoint for that. And there you go. What we have here is we have the original flight plan taking us to Melville and on the flight plan to Missoula. And then 
because it's appended at the end of the flight plan, we have a leg taking us all the way from Missoula back to the departure end of the runway, then to Coper, Hindi's, Beaver, and Apries. Now, if you need to see the track you need to fly for each of those, you can just pull up the nav log and it's all right there appended to the end. Departure end of the runway to Coper is 210 degrees, for example. Now there's one thing that's not on here, and that's the hold at Apries. And ForeFlight doesn't have a method for adding a hold to a waypoint just yet. I'm assuming they're going to do that someday, because lots of people are asking for it. But there's a simple way of doing that. I can just draw it right on the map, like this. And I know it's right turns, so draw some arrows to tell me which way to go. And I know the inbound course, it's 002 degrees. So there we have it. That's my gouge to depicting an engine out procedure on an electronic flight bag moving map page. I'm not necessarily saying you should do this in real life, but I think it's an interesting exercise. And it's also helpful to think about what you do do in case you lose an engine after takeoff at heavy weight, hot and high day in the mountains, and how you're going to fly that engine out procedure. I'm really curious about what you think about what this shows, and if you'd like to add some comments on this video, please do. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much, and good day. Thanks for watching this AIN video. Please like, subscribe, and share it if you've enjoyed it. Also, visit AINonline.com for all the latest on the aviation industry.